old, the new M. Night movie is now out in the theatres. And I just went and saw it. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I felt about this film. Now, this film is about a family that go on a vacation and get caught up on a beach where strange things start to happen to them all as they start to age with every hour that passes. How will they escape before their lifespan runs out? Now, I'm going to tell you guys exactly my thoughts on this film. Did I love it? Did I hate it? But let me know in the comments below, what did you all think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you mixed on it? Smash it in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe as well. And you know what? Let's jump into this review of the new M. Night movie. Okay, so, look, I'm going to be honest, I like M. Night. I like some of his films, and there's some films that I know people don't like of his as well. He's a very mixed director. I mean, I obviously love Unbreakable. I love Signs. I really like Split. Glass is a 50-50. I think, like, half of it is really good, and then the other half is just dog garbage. I also really like... After Earth, I know people don't like that film at all. I love it. I, it's, it's one of my guilty pleasures. Sorry, but I like it. Then there's other films that are just absolutely garbage on his, uh, you know, resume. They're just absolutely garbage. But what about this film? What about old? Where does it stack up? I'm going to be completely honest. This is going to be another polarizing film for most people. Some people are going to absolutely love this film. Others are going to absolutely despise it. And then I think there is going to be some majority of people in the middle with some mixed aspects about the film that they love and they hate. Personally, I'm in the mixed category. There is elements to this film that I absolutely adore and love and think are really, really good. And then there's other parts of the film that I think are just really lacking. But this is definitely one of his better films, and it is a lot better than... I would probably rank this higher than Glass, to be honest. I would. I think this has more good in it than Glass did. So let's get to some of the, the stuff that I want to talk about, which is, first off, the whole concept and idea behind this movie is really good. I, this, is, this is such a unique film. It's very, very, very unique that I've never actually really sat down and seen something very similar to this. And the way that M. Night executes it is, it's not perfect, but it's quite good as well. And being a majority one location movie, where it all takes place on the beach, bar from the start and the end, everything, the main bulk of this movie is all on the beach. And the way he's able to convey this story in this single location without leaving it is really, really good. And it comes down to a lot of factors. First off, I have to say the music, the score, makes some of the scenes very, very chilling. There is one scene in a cave that is absolutely straight out of a horror film that I was freaking out about because it was just creepy as. You know if you've seen the movie what scene I'm talking about. There's moments as well during you see in the trailer pregnancy scene. There's other scenes as well. The score just makes it chilling and the way that he shoots it makes it even more chilling as well because there's aspects where I know what's happening and it's just it's making me in the on the edge of my seat in this thrilling aspect which is what I wanted to be in. And it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty awesome. The practical effects in this are incredible. The visual effects are incredible. The whole cinematography is incredible. It is, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And the way that he shoots these films, some of the shots he does, panning in, panning out, coming back, it just added that little bit of extra effect that this movie needed. Story-wise, I enjoyed the story as well. The twist at the end, because, you know, it's an M. Night movie. There's going to be a twist somewhere in it. 
he doesn't go all out with the twist, which is what I like as well. He ha he, you know, there's some movies that he does where it's like twist after twist after twist, and it didn't really work. This one, bam, the twist. It's not, I know what he was going for, and that's what I like about M. Night. He's willing to take risk and really go for it, and I get what he was trying to do with the twist. I don't necessarily think it worked 100%. But I understand why he was doing that and what it meant for the movie. So, that to me, it's not a big problem. I think he could have done a lot better with the twist. But I understand where he was coming from and what he was trying to do. Now, some of the performances in here are incredible as well. They really captivated their character. Like, imagine trying to be a six-year-old in a grown man's body, in an adult body. It's pretty hard to do. They do do the best they can do with it. And one of them absolutely excels in it. And does it really well. And I believe that that is a six year old in an adult body. Then there's other performances that are bone chillingly scary. And some that are just really awesome to watch as well. Now some of the bad things. I think I have to say the dialogue in this is a bit iffy at certain times. And it made me struggle with certain characters because their dialogue was so cheesy and it just didn't work and didn't have that emotional impact that I was looking for to make me attach and be grasp into their relationship or them. And some of them were just pretty wooden. And I was like, yeah, I don't really feel much for them. So that's a bit of an issue for me. The twist, like I said, I don't think was executed properly, but... I've already said my piece on that. Uh, I just don't think he quite captured me. There's certain characters that I really attached to and cared about. And then others that I didn't really care for. But overall, I think this is a solid entry into his resume. Um, there is, you know, there is issues in it. And I think he needs to work a bit more on his dialogue. Because I just... If he, if he nailed the dialogue in this movie, this movie would go up so much higher. And also, I do believe that this movie is one that you have to re-watch. Because to really grasp the whole magnitude of the narrative and the story that is being taken place, it's a very confusing plot. You really have to pay attention to it. And if you're s someone who doesn't go to movies to watch like a nolan S sort of film where it's you really need to concentrate and start like it's a mystery and you're trying to put pieces together, this isn't the movie for you. If you're not into those movies, this is definitely not going to be the movie for you. If you like that stuff, this is a movie for you, trying to work things out, trying to piece things together. But I think this is one that's going to take a few rewatches. Personally for me as well, I think I'm going to have to watch this again and again to really grasp the full understanding of what actually is happening, little things that I may have missed. Because I can see people are going to miss certain things in this movie. And I mean, I've missed things probably as well. So I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it just to really get that full grasp on this movie. Yeah, so this isn't going to be for everyone. I'm telling you that now. This is going to be, people are going to hate it. People are going to love it. People are going to be mixed. And I'm in the mixed category right now. But I do think it's a better one that he has done. And yeah, I'd give it a positive. So let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of old? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it below. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.